What is the relationship between cost of capital and return on assets? There is a serious relationship. For that, let's understand what is cost of capital first of all. This is the cost of raising funds for the business. Business may be raising funds from various sources, right? And each source has a cost. So you will be calculating the overall cost of capital. We also call it as VAC, which stands for weighted average cost of capital. Let's take this example. Let's say a business is raising funds from debt and equity. Debt is 10 crore, equity is 10 crore. Debt is raised at a cost of 10%, equity is raised at 20%. So the cost of 10 crore, 10% is 1 crore and cost of equity 10 crore, 20% cost and the cost is 2 crore. So for having raised 20 crore, their cost is 1 plus 2, 3 crore. So 3 crore divided by 20 crore, that gives the overall cost of capital 3 by 20, that is 15%. So this 15% is the cost for this business. And since this business is having a total funds of 20 crore, they will also be having assets worth 20 crore. Now they have to use this 20 crore assets and earn a minimum profit of 3 crore. Why 3 crore? because 3 crore is the cost. They should earn a minimum of 3 crore. So 3 crore on 20 crore is the return they should target for. So 3 on 20 works out to 15% and this is the return on asset they should generate. And look, this 15% is your weighted average cost of capital as well. So what is the condition here? The return on asset should be at least equal to weighted average cost of capital and that's why I have used the sign greater than or equal to. So the relationship between the return on asset and cost of capital is a business should generate return on asset greater than or equal to weighted average cost of capital. If you like this video, do not forget to follow, comment and share.